talk about what is a factorial. Well, you can see this exclamation point here, or what looks like an exclamation point, and uh, what that is, that's a factorial. And it doesn't really mean like, uh, you know, yay, three, right? It means uh, you take this number three and you multiply down to one. So for example, three factorial is actually three times two times one, which equals six. Let's look at another example, one factorial. Well, this one's already at one, so if we're multiplying down to one, it's just gonna be one. Now, zero factorial, this is one you're gonna to have to memorize, but zero factorial just equals one. Okay, so this one, memorize. A lot of times students make the mistake of thinking it's zero, but it's actually one. And then six factorial, same thing. You would start at six and you would multiply down to one. So this would be six times five times four times three times two times one. Uh, let's see, that comes out to uh, 720, okay? And then the last one here, this is a common mistake that I want you to avoid. Two factorial times three factorial does not equal six factorial. You have to actually simplify these individually. So two factorial is two times one. Three factorial is three times two times one. So you can see this is gonna be 12. Okay, and that's your answer. So let's get into the examples here. Number one, you can see we've got eight factorial divided by six factorial. How would we simplify? Simplify that one. Well, eight factorial is eight times seven times six all the way down to one. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna stop once I get to six factorial. And the reason is, is this just represents six, five, four, three, two, one. But the reason I stopped there is because you can see that the six factorial in the numerator is canceling with the six factorial in the denominator. Now you just have to simplify eight times seven, which gives us 56 and you got it. Okay, let's go to example number two. So this one, We've got three factorial times seven factorial divided by six factorial times four factorial. Okay, so let's see if we can analyze this one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna leave this as three factorial, seven factorial I'm gonna write as seven times six factorial, and then the six factorial I'm gonna leave it, that one as it is, and then four factorial I'm gonna write as four times three, two, one, that's three factorial, right? And the reason I did that is you see how the three factorial in the denominator is canceling with the three factorial in the numerator? And same thing with the sixes, right? So we're really just left with seven over four, and you've got it. Now, how did I know, you know to do it in that manner? Well, what you can do is you can look at one that's uh, larger, right? See, four is larger than three. So what I did is I took four and I went until I get down to three, then I knew I was gonna have a match and I'd be able to cancel. Uh, same thing here, seven factorial, I went seven, six factorial, and then I knew that the sixes were gonna cancel. So again, you start with the larger one and then count down you know, by one at a time. Okay, let's go to number three now. So this one is more of a you know, variable expression. We've got n plus three, the quantity factorial over n factorial. Now let me ask you a question. Which one do you think is larger, the numerator or the denominator? Okay, if you said the numerator, you're absolutely right because you can see this is three more than n, whereas this is just n, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with that larger one, that larger quantity, n plus three, and we're gonna multiply down n plus two and n plus one and n factorial, right? So you can see I keep subtracting one each time. Just like when I went over here, we've got three factorial, I went three, and then three minus one is two, and then two minus one is one, and keep going down by one. So that's what I'm doing here, just subtracting one each time until I've got a match with the numerator and the denominator. This way I can cancel those, and we're just left this, with this quantity right here, and you can FOIL that out and multiply it out on your own. Okay, and then number four, the last one, we've got three n plus two, the quantity factorial, and three n minus one, the quantity factorial, right? So which one do you think is larger in this case, the numerator or the denominator? Well, again, the numerator is larger in this one because you can see that this is n plus two, this is three n minus one. So this is, this is definitely larger. So we're gonna take that larger one and we're gonna count down. Okay, so three n plus two, three n plus one. I just keep subtracting one each time, three n, three n minus one factorial. And now you can see we've got a match with the numerator and the denominator. These are gonna cancel, and we're just left with this expression here. And again, you can FOIL that out if you'd like, or you can 